The Macon is a coil on plug system. That means first you will need to remove the coils to get access to the plugs. The six coils, blue arrows, are on the top of the valve covers with three being on each side. You do not need to remove the engine cover to perform this work, but it just pulls straight up by the corners and gives you a little more room to work. We are going to show you on the left bank coils, blue arrows, and it is more difficult, but the right bank has the same procedures. Begin by removing the airbox lid, side, and the filter, along with loosening the coolant expansion tank, red arrows. It will give you a lot more room to work and easier access to the two E10 bolts holding the wiring harness and ground cables down, blue arrows. Use an E10 socket or wrench and remove the two E10 hold down bolts as indicated by the red arrows. The front two wiring connections are covered in a plastic sheath. Squeeze down on the clips, red arrow, and slide the connections off the coils. You can now move the harness out of the way, blue arrow, and disconnect the connection for the rear coil, yellow arrow. Use a T27 torque and loosen the single hold down bolt, red arrow. The bolt stays in the coil housing and can be used to help lift the coil from the plug. Gently wiggle and lift the coils straight up and out. There is no way to tell if a coil is working by looking at it, but you can inspect the wiring end, red arrow, and the plug end, blue arrow, for damage. Using a 5 8 thin walled socket and extension, remove the plug from the cylinder head. The plugs have a very deep thread to them, so you will be turning for a while. Always inspect the old plugs. You can learn a lot about the health of your motor by looking at the old plugs. You want to see this, red arrow, an ashen color. Any signs of oil, dark or burnt spots, or wetness are signs of an unhealthy motor. Although the plugs come pre-gapped, I like to double check, red arrow, just to make sure. Any damage to the electrode or crack in the ceramics and the plug should not be installed. Never put anti-seize on the threads of a plug. The threads are used as a ground and you do not want to interfere with that. Some people put a small amount of dielectric grease on the top of the plug where it connects to the coil, but I personally do not on the Macon. You should be installing your plugs on a cold engine. The plugs are threaded into an aluminum head and can very easily cross thread the head if the head is warm or hot, and you do not want to do that. Number six cylinder is the toughest because of the engine brace, but a universal joint or wobbler will help you make quick work of it. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.